2017, I won the Outlaw Front Wheel Drive Track Championship at Kalamazoo Speedway. During my acceptance speech, I stated that I wanted to move up. I wanted to go deeper into racing than just dabbling in the front wheel drive classes. And I said that I was looking to move up into a sportsman. I also said that I might end up having to take a year off to finish building a car, especially when I had to move up a couple classes because it costs a lot more money to run faster. Well, that was 2017. The year is now 2021. And finally, after losing my job and finding a new job, then quitting that job four days later and then finding another new job, to having a baby in the middle of a pandemic, oh, by the way, a pandemic, to having several family members pass away in and around my family, several people pass away, dealing with money issues and time issues balancing family life and work life and race car stuff. Finally, finally, I was able to piece together and finally, finally finish, almost finish, this race car. Still a couple more things I need to do to it, but we're just about there. Uh, it's actually Thursday, and the plan is to have this thing on track for practice by Sunday. As you can see, we're back in my garage at my house. Um, tomorrow night, we will be taking the car back up to the main shop to get finished. We had to leave there temporarily to get a few other cars in and get those taken care of. Um, my car just needs to go up there to get scaled, get lead added to it, get a setup finished for it, and then it's ready to hit the track. Maybe. We still need to nut and bolt it and figure out where we screwed up, but we're really not going to know that until I can get it back up there and get, really get some hands and eyes on it other than my own. For those of you who are used to seeing me around a front wheel drive, uh, this car is a lot different, and I'll tell you some of the differences. Uh, my old front wheel drive championship car was a V6. This one's a V8. My old car was front wheel drive. This one's a rear wheel drive. My old car started off as a Pontiac Grand Am and was converted to a race car. This here is a two-chassis purpose-built race car. This here is a template late model. It's also known as a sportsman, depending on where you're at or what track you go to. Um, at my track, Kalamazoo Speedway, this is one step down from the outlaw late model class. The main difference between the two being the outlaw cars have a wedge body, which creates more downforce, and they're also a little bit lighter. The horsepower is pretty much the same as far as what we can do with the performance of the engine, but the shocks are a big restriction. Triple adjustable shocks are allowed in the outlaw class, whereas our class is restricted to single adjustable. I'll go ahead and give you a tour of the car since I didn't give you one last time. This is a uh, Chevy 355 pushing out approximately 600 horsepower. We still need to dyno it, but uh, 600 is the ballpark. As you can see, we did go with the Chevy SS nose and tail ID kits. I wanted to go forward. I was, but uh, the main problem was I couldn't find a uh, Ford tail, uh, the tail ID kit. So I just went with Chevy because they had both the nose and tail. So I went ahead and just picked that up. I was gonna call it my Ford SS or my Chevy Mustang, but didn't work out. Uh, in the front, we are running JRI shocks. In the rear, I do have Pro shocks, but those are eventually getting replaced. In this class, we run on a uh, eight inch Hoosier tire. Uh, this year, we're actually going to a slick tire. This one, as you can see, well, you can kind of see, it actually has grooves in it. This is last year's tire. 
and we're not running this tire this year. But since I bought these tires brand new, I need to basically use them for practice to burn them up. The new tire we have will be slicks. Coming a little further back here, Ultra Shield race seat. Uh, interior's not super fancy, but uh, got my shifters over there, my ignition control panel, power on and off switch. I've got some uh, gauges up there. My tack is actually digital. The uh, others are all mechanical. Gonna be tight quarters in there too. Once I get a camera mounted in there, it'll you'll get a, you'll get a view, but you won't have the big giant window that I did on my front wheel drive. The body on this car is pretty much a Frankenstein. I uh, we pieced this together from several different cars: the uh, nose, tail, fenders, quarters, and roof all came from the same car. The hood is from a different car. The windshield is from a different car. Actually, the windshield's new. The cowl is from a different car. We fabricated the doors ourselves. The back window is from a different car. AJ Foote actually gave me this window, this back windshield because I really needed one and uh, it's got a little crack in it, but he actually gave me this one for free, so thanks, AJ. Another cool thing about this particular body and the reason why we titled the video the 600 horsepower chalkboard is because I wanted a flat black paint job, and as I was thinking about flat black, I uh, noticed that chalkboard paint comes out flat black. And uh, I wanted to do something cool because we're only keeping this body for just this season. And uh, next year we're gonna put a, one of the new Gen 6 bodies on it and wrap it. But since we're not wrapping this one, I wanted to do something cool with the paint job. So we use chalkboard paint. So I can actually take this piece of chalk and I can write anywhere on this car in chalk. So I can say something like, sup, YT. What's up, YouTube? And uh, I don't have my rag with me, but this wipes off. If I, I can just squirt on the water on there. And it wipes right off. Once that dries, it'll be back to flat black. You never even know anyone wrote there. The cool part about this is that every single week, I could have a completely different paint job going. <laughs> and uh, one of the things I think I'm gonna do is uh, just pr pretty much just wheel the car out into my driveway, night before race night, and uh, all day Friday, any of the neighborhood kids can just come up and grab a piece of chalk and draw on the car and autograph it themselves. You can see right here, I did another spot, but I'll wipe that off later. All right guys, so that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, the next video you'll see from us will hopefully be on track action with this car at Springport Speedway. It'll most likely be from track side view. I don't have the internal camera set up yet. I don't know if I'll have time to get it done and get it, get it in and get it calibrated, but once the season gets rolling, we will have that in-car driver's eye view that you're used to seeing. Um, if you do want to see that though, please, please, please hit the like button. Uh, also hit that subscribe button. Um, so then guys, thanks for watching and uh, take it easy and stay safe out there. Peace.